Well, hello there, YouTube. So you guys can see the direct uh, difference between the base model that I drive <coughs> and the LTD. You'll see it's got chrome everywhere. It's got fog lights up front. It's got the cool uh, fenders that they came out with last year and a really nice front lights, fender lights. These things are awesome. But you can see there's chrome accents everywhere. And it comes with GPS and uh, all kinds of good things. It has the fuel gauge and temperature gauge where mine just has the plastic plugs in there. Got the suspension adjustment, uh, the fog lights on and off button, uh, grips and park brakes the same. Just installed this ultimate seat for this gentleman. And this was one with a brown seat. We converted it over to a black seat with an ultimate. Um, why do I have a vehicle stability control? Oh, you know why? Because I didn't plug in the damn seat. Okay. I had the uh, seat shock sitting over there on my bench I need to put in anyway. That was my warning to uh, plug everything in and make sure everything's cool. Hey, but you got to see what a VSS light looks like. my seat prop while I'm doing the work on it. That's a S model. I like all that blacked out and that flat gray. That thing is sick. If I was to buy an RT, it'd be that one right there. Oh no, that's an LTD, I'm sorry. The you ought to see the one that's uh, an S that's all blacked out. That thing is really cool. But you can see all the, the different gauges where the GPS normally mounts. and You see some extra buttons up front here. An M109. Our infamous ramp. That Panigale is so damn good looking. Wow, he drives in eco mode. I know you can't speak back to me, but remind me to turn that back on. It makes these things so gutless. I mean, I haven't tried it to see what kind of gas savings I get out of it, but whew, I do not like that at all. If they show in uh, the training material, they show the different mapping in both uh, fuel and and uh, ignition changes that happens. Yeah, that's a stretched out ZX14. Wow, this seat is comfortable. Whoa, like really comfortable. I like that the backrest is uh, is adjustable. And this color, although it looks kind of copperish to me, is considered a cognac. So I'm going to take you uh, on the same route. It must be running lower tire pressures in this thing. It has a very solid, stiff feel to it. You air them up too much and uh, the steering gets real light. I'll drive you through that little park that I went to. Uh, you'll notice I don't have that, that vent on the windshield either. This is the stock windshield it comes with. It's wider. Um, this particular one is three inches taller because uh, I have one that's uh, actually a short shield. I like to, I like a, a nice short shield. It's not good for motor vlogging. I gotta kick it up as you notice. But you don't have the obstruction from that vent. But that vent works so well, it's worth the obstruction. I haven't taken a spider through here. I don't know how sensitive they are to these speed bumps. This old dog. We've been watching this dog run back and forth. My wife and I 
and this will happen again soon when she starts working down here again but uh we'll sit at that park and that old dog runs back and forth chasing, chasing kids on bicycles and whatnot but this thing's pretty uh, the funny thing about this color uh, people are very cut and dry they either like it or they straight up hate it now he says this thing has a violent downshift I don't, when you let it hmm doesn't seem to do anything odd but he's going to bring it back next week for me to look into that look at this even in the neighborhoods that there's traffic always going you never get that time of the day that even around here that you can bomb around and not have traffic man I I lived in a neighborhood in southeast Portland I was right on the corner of what appeared to be two very busy streets and man it was non-stop tra non traffic Yeah, see, even this shield all the way down is right, right in my field of view. And it, like, gives you a distorted, because I like to look way ahead, and it gives me a kind of a distorted view. I don't like the obstruction or the, you know, the physical thing being down here on the bottom with that vented windshield, but the pressure it takes off the back of the shield and the, uh, the fact that it's shorter and when it when you zoom it all the way up it is more than high enough rain just whizzes right over you and it's quiet as you notice it's it's quiet when I'm vlogging man I just don't notice this thing doing anything strange just let her auto shift all the way down here my problem is, ah, never got slow enough. This new engine and, and uh, the way the clutch works, um, man, the RPMs will go down nothing before they downshift. Because you can roll on it, shit, any RPM and it pulls. It's like a damn tractor motor in this thing. All right, here we go. She downshifted just like she should. Boy, I really like this seat. Mm, mm, mm. You can tell it's got that nice uh, memory foam, or you know that. It, it, at first, it feels a little stiff. Don't be fooled. When you sit on a seat that initially feels stiff, that is not a bad thing if it's got good quality foam in it. Because your butt will settle right into that thing and you're talking some serious comfort oh, three wheels <laughs> yeah. I was trying to straddle that big drainage ditch there and rolled the back wheel through it mm. oh man I don't know if it's that taco house or what I'm smelling but that smells so good That's our uh, corporate headquarters right there. There's the back side of the shop. I'm gonna whiz this thing around to the front and deliver it to the customer. Probably thinks I got lost. Your chariot. I couldn't get it to do anything odd. It never surged once. And at first, I, because I, 
always manual it. I thought, oh, you idiot. Well, just don't touch it. <laughs> but I couldn't get it to do anything odd. Maybe it's, it cooled off or something. But we'll play with it when you bring it back. I like that seat. I really like that seat. Yeah. Yeah, I went to grab a wrench to adjust it. I stick the wrench on there and it's like, whoop. I go, oh, hell, you can just do it by hand.